Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Vaseem Khan, an instructor of Project Planning and Management course. In today's lecture, we will talk about the progress and performance measurement and evaluation. Evaluation and control are part of every project manager's job. Uh, control by wandering around or by, um, involvement uh, can overcome most problems in small projects. But large projects need some form of formal control. Control holds people accountable, prevents small problems from mushrooming into large problems, and keep focus. Except for accounting problems, uh, project control is not uh, performed well in most organizations. Uh, control is uh, one of the most neglected areas of the project management. Uh, unfortunately, it is not uncommon to find a resistance to the uh, control processes. Uh, in essence, those who minimize the importance of control are passing up a great opportunity to be effective managers and perhaps uh, allow the organization to gain a competitive edge. Neglecting control in organizations with multiple projects is even more serious. For effective control, the project manager uh, needs a single information system uh, to collect data and report the progress on cost, schedule, and specifications. So let's talk about the uh, project monitoring system uh, for control. Uh, a project monitoring system involves determining uh, what data to collect, uh, how, when, and who will collect the data, analysis of the data, and reporting the current progress. So let's talk about uh, what data are uh, collected. Uh, data collected are determined by which metrics uh, will be used for project control. A typical key data collected are uh, actual uh, activity duration times, uh, resource usage and rates, and actual costs, which are compared against planned times, resources, and budgets. Since a major portion of the monitoring system focuses on cost and schedule concerns, it is crucial uh, to provide the project manager and stakeholders with data to answer uh, questions such as, um, what is the uh, current status of the project uh, in terms of schedule and cost? How will it cost to complete the project? And what will the project be completed? When will, uh, sorry, uh, the project be uh, completed? Um, are there potential uh, problems that need to be addressed now? Uh, what, who, and where um, are the causes for cost or schedule overruns? Um, what did we get from the uh, dollars spent? And if there is a cost overrun midway in the project, can we forecast the uh, overrun at completion? So th th that was actually the project monitoring control systems. And we, are, are, we, we have talked about you know, the, the, uh, what data are collected. So let's talk about the, um, you know, um, collecting data and analysis and the reports and reporting. With the determination of, of what data are collected, the next step is to establish who, when, and how the data will be assembled. Will the data be uh, collected by the project team, contractor, independent cost engineers, or project manager? Or will the data be derived electronically uh, from uh, some form of um, surrogate data such as cash flow, uh, machine hours, uh, labor hours, or materials in class? Should the reporting period be one hour, one day, one week, or what? Is there a, a, a central uh, repository for the data collected? And is someone responsible for its determination? Electronic means of collecting data uh, have vastly improved data assembly, analysis, and dissemination. Uh, 
um, numerous software vendors have programs and tools to analyze your customized collected data and present it in a form that facilitates uh, monitoring the project, um, uh, identifying sources of problems, and updating uh, your plan. Let's come towards the uh, reports and reporting. Um, you know, first, who gets the progress reports? Uh, we have uh, already suggested that different stakeholders and levels of management need different kinds of project information. Uh, senior uh, management's major interests are usually, um, are we on time and within budget? If not, what corrective action is taking place? Likewise, an IT manager working on the project is concerned prim uh, primarily uh, about her or his uh, deliverable and specific uh, work packages. The reports should be designed for the right audience. Uh, typically, project um, uh, reports are designed and communicated in written or oral form, uh, you know, but, you know, the, the common uh, topic format for the project uh, reports um, are, you know, this is actually the um, progress report format. And um, uh, the, uh, we, uh, the, uh, it, uh, it consists of a progress since last report, a current status of, of the project, like current status of the project include the uh, schedule, uh, cost, uh, scope, uh, and uh, the cumulative trends, um, the uh, problems and issues since last report, actions, uh, that is the actions and resolution of earlier problems, um, the new variances and uh, problems identified, uh, and corrective action planned. Uh, so given the structure of your information system and the nature of its outputs, uh, we can use the system to interface and facilitate the project control uh, process. These interfaces need to be relevant and seamless um, if control is to be uh, effective. In the next uh, part of this lecture, we will uh, talk about the uh, project control processes and uh, we will talk about some of the tools uh, that we can use to uh, monitor or track the uh, project processes. So uh, till then, thank you.